hello welcome back to my youtube channel web scraping service in this youtube channel now i will show you how to extract email address from any website with the help of google spreadsheet before starting the tutorial i am requesting you if you are new in my youtube channel please subscribe to my youtube channel and after watching this video if you need any kind of help about web scraping lead generation data entry pdf to excel please feel free to contact me i have large team and we do this kind of projects for our clients with cheap rate and if you are new in this video please watch my first video this is the first video which video link i will give in my video description if you do not watch the first video i hope you will not uh, completely understand my this video so I am just requesting you please watch this first video then come to this second video so friends let's start the tutorial uh, this is the website uh, you see that where I have uh, scraped the business name and address in my first video here and I write or I explained everything in details about how I have write this export and how I created this uh, Google sheet and all you will um, i all i have very clearly explained in my first video and in this video i will explain uh, how i get this email address from this website if you watch this video very attentively from beginning to end, i hope you will be able to write any kind of uh, export for any kind of email address or anything so friends uh, for that uh, i will go to this uh, google sheet already here and you already know the export helper already here uh, this is the export helper and this is the google sheet so here i already write the formula so the formula you already know that this formula the formula is import xml here is the formula is import xml you already know from my first video then you have to give the source link address here and here you have to give give the export as i have no right no export here so it shows that this below is error okay so as if i write the export here then data will start to scrap automatically here and here i will write my export to write the export uh, we normally use two things we can directly write the export here or you can uh, easily write the export in uh, toggle exporter here and can check our result okay so i will show you both here okay so to get the export of that email address here one thing you will notice that here the email address is send email and here the email address is directly okay and also also here the email address is directly okay but in this case the send email that means the email address is uh, behind the send email it is hidden email but it is uh, published on publicly available email so i have to get both the email address that means i have to find the main our hidden email email address to get the hidden email address i just need to get the inspect element here I just inspect element here when I um, inspect this element here you see that I get this email address here so this email address is mail to you see that mail to when I move my uh, cursor here you see that this is automatically highlighted this section is automatically highlighted you see that it is automatically highlighted so I need this parts to get this email address okay if you just open this see this one copy email address here and you see that i'm just uh, showing you the email address here you see that this is the email address okay so i just want to get this fresh email address okay so you see that this is the email address although some other uh, some few other thing is already attached with this one but we do, we do not care this one we will remove this after collecting this one okay so one thing please notice that this email address is uh, is the hyperlink you see the hyperlink hyperlink and it is uh, it is it is around this uh, this 
HTML tag paragraph. So this paragraph. But if you notice that this paragraph is this paragraph is on the uh, this type. You see that this type. So we normally starts from this write our export from this type. In this case, you see that this UL that means unordered list. It is called unordered list. This unordered list is closed here, and this S4 that means header four is also closed here. This header five is also closed here, and you see that all the paragraph, all this paragraph, this paragraph, and these three paragraph are already closed. As these uh, all these uh, unordered list header four, five, and all these three. Paragraph text is already closed here, so we do not need to mention this kind of HTML tag in our export. Understand? So we will start our export from this tag. That means this div. So the div class is product inner. So I just copy the div class here, and here I will write the div. You know that the export normally starts with uh, double forward slash here so i just write the diver sorry i just mistake yes forward slash here so and here we have to you already know that the as it is that class and it is uh, it is the attribute so it is the class that means this is the attribute and this dive has an attribute class and it is name is product inner so we know that uh, already attribute is um the attribute is uh, mentioned here by third bracket and we must use an at sign we must use an at sign to represent the attribute so when i give the attribute here you see that and here i have to make the one thing here So you see that um, when I write this this export here, we get all the three results here. But we get lot of data here. You see that lot of data. But we must uh, we must to get our target data. To get our target data, so here as this kind of HTML tag is already uh, closed with their closing tag. So I want to mention this paragraph because this paragraph tag is closed here and be and uh, in under and inside of that a paragraph tag we get this anchor text and uh, inside this anchor text we get our target data email address so we will mention so we will mention our uh, targeted paragraph with p okay after we target our mentioned paragraph p then we have to mention our targeted um, this p and after that we will mention our targeted anchor text a okay so i will filter this anchor text with a when we mention this your anchor text a i am just showing you the proof here so i am just write my anchor text here okay i just write my anchor text here okay so this is the anchor text we found here you see that when i write this anchor text sorry when i write this uh, export and we get here we get nine data you see that we get nine data that means we get uh, this one we get all this data the email address and the website and the reviews this is from here three from here three and from there three so we get total three data here with this export we get three uh, anchor text here but we want only this email address understand you see that we get we need only this email address but uh, for that you see that i am just uh, writing uh, i am just explaining everything in details so that you can easily understand and you see that we get all these reviews website and email address also but we need only the email address to get only the email address uh, we have to you see that to get only the email address 
we must use something different okay so for that what we have to do uh, we have to use some uh, advanced uh, export formula uh, which we normally uh, their export has lot of uh, criteria and a lot of uh, uh, lot of uh, special specialization a uh, specification which we can use to get our target data in this case we will use uh, an uh, to uh, to represent the possibility export normally we use to get the fixed data or the possibility so in this case we want to use some possibility and because here you see that uh, something I just want to show you here when I will write this href that means href has the is reference anchor text has the mail to this part has the mail to but when you use this export section here I'm just showing you this one and when I want to show this href because all this is coming because of this anchor text because this is also this anchor text is inside this paragraph text the same case is happening here this anchor text is also uh, under this uh, this paragraph text this is the reason this comes this comes and also this reviews also comes here because you see that here this anchor text has also the um, this anchor text also inside this paragraph text so all these are similar this is reason all the three data is extracted automatically but one thing please notice that this anchor text a itself has the mail to parts because as the email address is con contains here so mail to parts is exist here but in this case the website we see that there is no mail to parts here and in the review section you see that also there is no mail to so we get something different in the mail in the email uh, for the email address so to represent and we will use and we will take the advantage of this mail to okay to take this advantage we will use uh, some uh, some other coding this is normally we use in the anchor text so uh, it is called we normally use the third bracket and here we will write content that means this anchor text contains some words which is only uh, represent in that paragraph not other here understand this reason we will use this one contains here we will use contains and we have to write the attribute then the at sign this at sign and a step this anchor text has the attribute and it is possibility okay so we will use the href that means the href in this case we will use comma because it is the rules of writing export okay so here you see that this dive has the class and it is fixed but when you write the contents that means it can anything understand so it may it is it is normally we represent in expect the possibility to uh, to show any kind of possibility we normally use the contents formula so the contents in this case this is step this is step here also uh, the three is step but in this case we will use the you see that there is a three is step but in the first or that uh, that means in the email section is when we have only uh, one uh, difficult one uh, different word this is called mail to so we will use the mail to that means the mail to here we will write the mail to and this represent by a single quotation okay we will write this single quotation here so mail to okay so when you will write the mail to here you see that and this one write the mail to we get the this parts you see that we get the uh, we, we get the visible parts of the email address here so if you use this one here if you use this one here you see that you see that what a uh, wonderful result we are getting so we are getting the three visible parts understand so you see that we get the three visible parts 
but we want to get uh, not only the disable parts we want to get our the main email address because in this case the set in this in this section we get the send email we do not find our uh, email address still so this is the reason uh, we will use to get the exact result to uh, get the result uh, or the hidden parts uh, and this one this anchor text that means the word the word which normally um, want to reveal we will use some other thing then we have to use the here we will use another filter and here we will use add and here we will use the href okay when we'll use this one and when we'll use this parts here and we will see that we get the, our uh, busy hidden parts so this these are the three hidden parts we normally get for our email address you see that this is the total you see that this is the total parts so this is the total parts we get this href and this href okay so i am showing you if you just uh, show this one this is the total data we, we found here okay this total data as the video long has become uh, so long so this is reason i just want to stop this video here and i will uh, show i will create another video where i will explain how we can extract the email address from this unwanted data very easily i hope you will watch my next video and if you think this video is something helpful for you and if you learn something from this video please uh, subscribe to my youtube channel and please share this video to your um, facebook twitter linkedin and other social media so that other people can also learn this and if you need any kind of help or if you have any kind of projects for me please feel free to contact me we are always doing this kind of projects for our clients with cheap rate thank you so much for watching this video please take care and care for me bye